Hey guys, it's Jonah here coming at you with another beer review. Um, we got an interesting-ish one, which is this one. Shipyard Rye PA, Rye Pale Ale. This one's reasonably unusual uh, in the UK. Uh, this is brewed under contract by Marston's, who are quite big. They own a lot of breweries these days uh, over in the UK. And obviously Shipyard is over in America. So it's not an American version, it's an English version. It's a 500 bottle and it's 4.3 on the ABV. Look at that bear on there, that's their uh, kind of thing. Um, shipyard, and I've also had the IPA down the pub, rubber dub dub down the pub. Um, interesting, this beer though. Um, there was a different version of this, which was stronger in ABV. It was about six and a half, something like that. Total looks totally different and they've totally rebranded it with the uh, the bear on there. You might see it says Citra down here, Amarillo. Yeah, we've definitely got some uh, dry hops, uh, dry hops beer. And they've got a little neck chief with a ship on there. And they've done quite well with the cap. Looks very good. I quite like the look of this uh, product. I like the color. Um, I will give you what it says on the back. It says the main black bear has long fruitful relationship with the state of Maine as the mes uh, mascot for the university. Uh, and this brew is an homage de fromage uh, to this fruit loving American native. So the bear likes fruit. So this means gonna be a fruity beer. Um, and obviously it's got rye in there. Uh, it says it's packed full of American hops, Amarillo, Citro, Cascade and Summit. Uh, to give an upfront punchy orange aroma uh, and lingering citrus tang. Well, we shall see. As we all know, Summit is ridiculously high in alpha acids. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised that's the bittering hop. Um, orange. What is orange? Orange uh, comes from the Amarillo, I believe. So we shall see. Oh, bit of a weak hiss there. Oh, my God. I'm getting the cascade from the neck of the bottle. Let's see how it does. This is my famous semi-nucleated glass. Um, so I don't really want to have a big ice cream. Oh, but it's not looking like producing a huge amount of head, which is fine by me. Right, bit of hops. Bit of hops, bit of head. Oh, there he goes. Fantastic, look at that color. Really, really nice. Quite, quite dark. It's like a dark copper color. And the head is fine, large bubbles. A little bit off-white. Maybe a finger's head, maybe, maybe three quarters of a finger's head. Quite a weak. I can tip the glass so it doesn't come out. See the carbonation on there? It's got a little bit of carbonation, but not too much. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. That is definitely the Amarillo. I'm getting that orange, but I'm also getting that grapefruit, you know, melded together. It says, it says it's got citron. Oh. I'm trying to get that, because that's usually a tropical fruit, isn't it? Uh, dry hopped with Amarillo and Citra. Interesting, I'm not getting so much of the Citra. Cascade, yeah. Orange from the Amarillo, yeah. Tropical fruits, not so much. We'll see what happens when I take a sample of this. But this looks like a fantastic beer. Cheers and beers, guys. Let's get in there. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. Getting the cascade up front, getting that grapefruit, but then it kind of kicks in with a bit of 
sharp kind of lemon. Um, and now I'm getting, perhaps now I'm getting a little bit of tropical fruit. Not getting so much of that orange in there. It's more of a, more of a lemon zesty, yeah, grapefruity stuff from the Cascade, I guess. Washing around my mouth, oh, that orange and the grapefruit melding together nicely. Can I get the rye? It's there. It's a weird. It's odd for someone that doesn't drink rye ales that often. Although I've done a few reviews on them, it's it's difficult to pick out. But it's that kind of grainy sort of bread. Uh, yeah, sort of seeded bread. You know when you go into the supermarket, you get not your normal white sliced loaf, but you get the gnarly one that's a bit hard. And if you if you can get a supermarket where they slice it for you, that's fantastic. Otherwise, you get it home and you have to kind of hack away at it with your bread knife, almost cutting your fingers off. But when you taste it and you bite into those sort of juicy seeds, um, it releases that kind of flavour. That is what rye is to me. It's that kind of bready, kind of gnarly, kind of, yeah, almost like um, pumpkin seed. Do, do you know if you get a bread with pumpkin seeds on the top? This is really interesting. Unlike the Guinness one, which I've, I've also had, and the Fuller's one, um, this is, I'd say, much closer to what I imagine the American style is. Um, does it sit together nicely? Well, it's meant to be, I don't know if they're going for an IPA style with really heavily hops. Um, why would you go for that kind of style when you've got rye malt in there as well? But it does kind of go together. You can definitely taste the separate parts, but you have to kind of fish them out. If you just want a, a session beer, this is probably not the one for you, because you have to sit there and think a bit. Oh, but yeah, it's 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 definitely American style. Um, Let's pull the tiny bit that I had left in the bottle in there. So, heavily dry hopped, so you get a lot of aroma. Quite highly uh, bittering because they use summit hops, which, as I say, the alpha acids go up as almost touching 20% alphas, which is ridiculously high. So you do have quite a bit of bitterness you've got a bit of earthy spiciness that does mix a bit with the rye uh, malt. To be honest though, I don't think there's too much rye in there. Hello, very nice and clear. Um, I think what they've done, used a normal pale malt and then backed it up uh, with a bit of rye just for the taste. Um, I'm not sure if rye pale ales usually have a very high percent of uh, rye malt or whether it's similar to every other beer where your base malt is, is just a pale malt um, and then you add to it. Um, it's very interesting. It's a different kind of style. Um, everybody knows that we're a flood in the UK. We're awash with uh, clones of beers that people are picking up um, dare I mention Wells and Young um, and their collaboration um, <laughs> with Dogfish Head. No, 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 that didn't go very well, did it? This one, however, I think this one's a bit more close to what the style is meant to be um, from, the, from the state of Maine. Um, go out and find yourself one. Even if you're stateside, Shipyard Rye Pale Ale with Amarillo and Citra, I think this is a quite a good beer. Very different, you've got to pick this one apart. For, so for all you people that like 
nitpicking with your beers, definitely go and try and find this one. Um, for people that are just after a session beer, I, I think it'll be wasted. Um, you really do need to sit down and pick this one apart. Um, I think this might go with a nice um, with a nice sack. Uh, sack? <laughs> My God, no! Um, a nice snack. Um, maybe even a cigar, something like that. Guys, this has been Uncle Chona. Uh drinking all the <laughs> the beers so you don't have to, and talking about sacks. <laughs> At least your sack is not dry. It's a nice, moist, wet sack after having some of this fine beer. Click like, click subscribe down below. We're going to continue this voyage across across the world of beer with your, your rich Uncle Jonah. Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you for the next one. Oh, great for working down the shipyard. <laughs>